In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Warm welcome to all of you tuning in to this Easter tide, Holy this Easter Tuesday of this 2020 Easter year. As we prepare to celebrate God's sacred mysteries, let us recall to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us Paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter spoke to the Jews. The whole house of Israel can be certain that God has made this Jesus, whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Hearing this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the Apostles, what must we do, brothers? You must repent, Peter answered, and every one of you must be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The promise that was made is for you and your children, and for all those who are far away, for all those whom the Lord our God will call to himself. He spoke to them for a long time, using many arguments, and he urged them, Save yourselves from this perverse generation. They were convinced by his arguments, and they accepted what he had said and were baptized. That very day, about 3,000 were added to their number. The Word of the Lord. The responsible psalm, the response is, The Lord fills the earth with his love. The Lord fills the earth with his love. The word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. Response, the Lord fills the earth with his love. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Response, the Lord fills the earth with his love. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Response, the Lord fills the earth with his love. The gospel acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. This day was made by the Lord. We rejoice and are glad. Alleluia.
The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary stayed outside near the tomb weeping. Then still weeping, she stooped to look inside and saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said, Woman, why are you weeping? They have taken my Lord away, she replied, and I don't know where they have put him. As she said this, she turned round and saw Jesus standing there, though she did not recognize him. Jesus said, Woman, why are you weeping? Who are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said, Sir, if you have taken him away, tell me where you have put him, and I will go and remove him. Jesus said, Mary. She knew him then and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means master. Jesus said to her, Do not cling to me because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go and find the brothers and tell them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. So Mary of Magdala went and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We are in a period in our country where there is a notice and suggestion, strong suggestion to stay at home. We want to stay at home and we want to make the best use of our time. As you know, time hasn't expanded. It's just the same 24 hours a day. It's just that we have taken time off from traveling, taken time off from having social visits. So we have time. The busyness as of our activities somehow have been curbed and lessened. So we have time. And we want to use this time to live well. There are others who use this time to do, to watch television, to watch movies, to serve the net. Well, all these is good to relieve any boredom. We need information from the news. But the balance of the time, we want to live well for God. How do we live well for God? St. John of the Cross used his time in his cell well, his confrères <coughs> placed him in the cell and expected him to reflect, to make him change his ways. They couldn't accept his renewed ways. St. John of the Cross used this time to reflect with God. He used this time and he lived well because in his time in that cell, well, he was arrested and really <clears throat> put in a small cell, he found a way to God. The Lord helped him find his way to God. The scholars are still studying this way. It looks complicated, but he, was, he hadn't got a library. <clears throat> he was never in the best comfortable position, but he used his time to live well. He found a way to God. The Lord reveals the mystery of the kingdom, the pathway to Him in His confinement. This is the time to find the mysteries of God. There are some who have to really go far and wide, retreat centers far and wide, travel far, this time is given to us and we used it well. Live well for God. Retreat for God. And you will find that as you read the Gospels, the life of Jesus on earth, excerpts of the life of Jesus on earth, his sayings, his stories, his parables, his teachings, his encounters, you can take any and lift it up from scriptures from the Gospel of Mark, from the Gospel of Luke, 
from the Gospel of Matthew and the Gospel of John, you can lift this up and really reflect on it. And you will find that the time will go by very fast. Because in that Gospel, the Lord will lead us on to the mysteries of the kingdom. Live well. Live well for God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us our bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name and for the good of good of all his holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every peop people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in, in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. <coughs> In a similar way, when supper was and ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <coughs> the mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and William, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Grant Amen. us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I'm not, I'm not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My God loves me. His love never ends. He Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare, prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia.